It was a shooting over a dice game caught on camera that left one team dead and spurred a massive overhaul of one Mid-State University security plan. Well, tonight, after a 10-month investigation, Metro Police say the two men responsible for the shooting are now behind bars. News Channel 5 Jason Lamb is with us live tonight from the TSU campus where those new security measures are still in effect, Jason. Yeah, that's right, Rory. You can see one of those security measures right back here. Increased police presence on campus. And TSU officials say it's that 10-point security plan that makes campus more safe today than it was a year ago when Cameron Selman was shot. for coming out. When we first introduced you to Stacy Payne last November, it's safe to say you saw her at rock bottom. Her 19-year-old son, Cameron Selman, had just been killed on the campus of TSU after a fight escalated into a shooting. Can we please have a uh, police ambulance over here to Trinity State University, please? For months, the only clue was this grainy security camera footage that showed two people firing shots and running away. But now that Metro Police say they've arrested the two men in that video, 20-year-old Christopher Gatewood and 21-year-old Robert Tunstall, it's safe to say Stacy is doing a little better today. You know, my heart is broken but I feel a sense of relief. Police say the two suspects were arrested in Memphis, where they ran away to after the shooting for 10 months. It says justice for Cameron. All while Cameron's mom hoped and waited for this day. Wearing one bracelet for each month, her son's murder went unsolved. As a mom, you're, you're heartbroken. You feel like you've been trampled on by hundreds of elephants, you know, you, you don't expect to bury your son. You expect your kids to bury you. Of course, Stacy's pain is not over. Maybe it never will be. But today marks another step up and away from that rock bottom day in November. Just hoping and believing that God was going to do something and he did. Now more about those security measures. TSU freshmen actually just got out of an orientation that ended less than an hour ago. And those security measures here at TSU were a big topic of conversation during that orientation. Reporting live on TSU's campus, Jason Lamb, News Channel 5.